Hello and welcome to Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures from what is a beautiful morning here on the allotment. The birds are singing. It's really, really quite pleasant actually. Unlike yesterday when I attempted to film this introduction. In fact, take a peek. Hello and welcome to Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures on what is here in Yorkshire. A really cold day. It's freezing out here. But, well, very rarely do we wear coats. It's very, very windy, however. So I'm going to pop inside the greenhouse. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's show. It was freezing yesterday morning, actually, and the wind was just so vicious. You could hear it in that clip. So I couldn't use that clip. I'm using this one instead. So sit back and enjoy today's show. You may be wondering why I'm sat down next to a lot of uh, seedlings. Well, it's that time. These were planted, or should I say sown in January. They've been inside my little hot house here. And well, they've done what they would do. Uh, they've shut up and they become really leggy. And this often happens when you start growing in the darkness, really, in, in the winter season, because the poor little seeds come out of the soil and think, oh, light. And because there's not much light, they try and find it as quickly as they can. And they really grow really long. And so their little stems become really thin and weak and not what we want at all. And so we can do what is obviously we're transplanting on now. And these are becoming really strong and healthy plants. I did these about four days ago, I think, and they're already doubled in size and they've been outside in the greenhouse. I know it sounds stupid because they're not inside here with constant heat. They've got a little bit of heat in here, but they're doing really, really well now. Very simple to do, of course. All you need is a dabber, or as I've got here, my uh, trusty uh, felt tip pen. And you just make a huge hole. In fact, here's a photograph of some of these pots with the holes in, and as deep as you can get them. Because what you want to do, if you can, and this is how much these have grown, actually, some of these already, put your seedlings very carefully right down to the bottom so that the soil comes right up to where the leaves are at the top. I mean, this one's actually grown 10 centimeters so almost as, as thick as my pen since I've transplanted it and again it's coming up to the light what it will do and as it, it, these are in a tray here a massive big tray and the tray is now full of water and what that encourages is the plants to go downwards rather than upwards because they establish their roots towards the water and that will mean that they'll grow a better root system in the bottom of the pot rather than just come out the top looking rather leggy uh, of which they're doing and they're doing really well we've got all sorts here so at this side and all along the front i've got my um, peppers my red peppers yellow peppers and green depending on when i pick them of course uh, these at uh, this side here uh, these are my cauliflowers so in these little pots here and along here we've got some tomato plants now what's funny about buying things and, and looking after plants i found this little beauty outside i bought it last year and i didn't transplant it i just left it I thought it had died actually and as I walked past it I thought hello hello, hello. There's, some, there's some buds coming on it and there really are some buds now I don't know what this is because I've lost the um, packaging for it however it's very very spiky so I'm wondering if it's something like maybe uh, a, a blackberry bush which would be really nice if we could so we have to that's a little experiment I put it in a pot I'm probably gonna leave it in the pot it's very spiky stem and uh, so this is what we can do at this time of year don't panic about the legginess as i say you can transplant them put them into pots and they will they will take and they will grow on so we're doing well marvelous isn't it i hope all of my welsh viewers and friends had a fantastic st david's day i have my first um daffodil isn't it wonderful and uh, of course we know the symbol for wales is the leek and of course the daffodil but the daffodil is a more recent addition so uh, we're talking um, 18th 19th century so not that long ago and uh, it's fantastic however i'm not really here to talk about that i'm here pop that down to look at my peas and they're doing really really well indoors absolutely dreadful in the greenhouse none have come up yet out of the soil but that could be because they might have been eaten by the little mice now what i've done in here for the mice i've actually got an ultrasonic uh, repeller so there's no injury to the mice they just don't like it and they'll keep away and i'm putting them in a shed as well just in case because I keep some of my seeds in the shed. I've got some more peas here. Now these are um, a small variety, like a bush variety of peas. So they're not going to be very, very tall. And so hopefully a huge crop will get lots. And it's great to see them coming out. Really keep on top of the watering with these. 
in fact i think i need now to put them in a tray so it can soak up from the bottom as i said rather than top water and that's really really important keep those roots strong and with tomatoes they love being deep in the soil so when these actually go outside into the soil they'll be rebedded right up to their bottom or should i say yeah their bottom leaves and they can put roots out into the soil and they really uh, grow big and strong and very very productive well once again thank you very much for watching jeremy's yorkshire allotment adventures i hope you have success in growing your seeds i've actually sown lots of things now in here behind me and we'll talk through that over the next few weeks i've had to regrow or re-sow all of my carrots that were in here because overnight they suddenly vanished and i don't know what happened to them maybe i had a little um slug or something in there that's had them or something's had them and the whole row just absolutely disappeared so i've had to re-sow those so uh interesting there are some, some successes as we know and some failures and i've fallen at the first hurdle with my carrots so fingers crossed the second lot take if not i'll just sow them outside when i get the new growing frame up yes in the next few weeks when the weather's getting better a new growing frame is going outside we'll see you very soon once again thanks for watching ta for now